Hello everyone, welcome to Music Listening Lessons and today we are going to be discussing chordophones. We are in week 15. Now, what are chordophones? First of all, chordophones are instruments that produce sound by vibrating strings stretched between two fixed points having a resonator. These include all stringed instruments such as guitars, violins, harps, and pianos. And it can also be a percussion instrument. There are five types of chordophones based on their relation to the re resonator, namely musical bows may or may not have resonators and the strings are attached and stretched to a wooden bow. Then we have harps. Strings are not parallel to the soundboard. We have lyres. The strings go through a crossbar away from the resonator and can be plucked or bowed. We have lutes. They have necks. Strings are stretched across the resonator and travel up the neck. Lutes may be bowed and plucked. Then we have zithas. They have no necks. Strings are stretched from one end of the board to the end. Zithas may be plucked or struck. Now, a resonator picks up the vibration of the string and amplifies it for a better sound. Chordophones also have subcategories depending on how the strings are played. For an example of chordophones played by bowing are double bass, violin and viola. Then examples of chordophones that are played by plucking are banjo, guitar, harp, mandolin and ukulele. The piano, dalsaima and the clavichord are examples of chordophones that are struck or that are struck. Now these are examples of chordophones. We have the lute, the predecessor of the lute. Then remember that from the lute we go to the guitars. We have violins. Then we have harps. Notice how the harp is shaped exactly like the harpsichord which is a predecessor of the piano. Let's listen to the different sounds of the instrument. Mm -hmm. 